Hi guys! So this video is going to be another Louis Vuitton reveal. It's uh, my first pre-loved uh, item in a while. Since my previous one was my insulate wallet that I purchased last August. So to get right into the video. Um, I bought this item off eBay. And it was pre-owned. Um, and a little backstory. Um, I wanted a toiletry from Louis Vuitton. And Louis Vuitton has a wide variety of different ones. Um, so in the beginning I was thinking about the toiletry pouch 19. But then I realized that it was quite small and wouldn't fit all my, knee, um, all my stuff. Um, and then I was set on the toiletry um, uh, 25 in monogram with the Vichetta piping. Uh, but then I was thinking like it's Vichetta, it's a toiletry, is it the best combination? So I started doing some research on the True Toilettes 28. Um, it's a vintage toiletry. And I fell in love with that one. So I started looking on eBay after a one that was in good condition. Not so much staining on the inside. That the um, elastic bands weren't too stretched out. So I did find one. So I you know, looked at all the pictures. And then I also asked... Um, some members on the Facebook site, I think it's called Louis Vuitton Buy, Sell and Chat. And all of those said it was authentic, so I bought it. Um, and it took three days for it to ship from Japan to Sweden. Um, but then when I got it, I had to pay like a customs fee of 25%, since that is our tax. Uh, percentage in Sweden so the total of the toiletry was uh, $170 um, so I'm just going to show you it and also uh, I was at Louis Vuitton uh, last week and I got this authenticated um, just to be so sure um, and then when I was there, I asked my essay if I could have a dust bag for it, and I got one. It's like this tall one with the drawstring on top. It fits very well. So here's my toiletry. Um, I am really loving this. So also when I got it, I had to clean the zipper because it was very, very dark and tarnished. So I used Brasso. I highly recommend Brasso. That's a great product. So I am going to put a link down below to my Instagram so you can see the before and after. Please check that out because it is a huge difference. And to add, to remove the green residue that the Brasso left, I just use soap and water on the cloth and, you know, just rubbed it and then dried it out. You can also use a tooth toothbrush. So the zipper is looking gold and shiny. And, but the zipper pole is, has turned into like a silver color. And when I was at Louis Vuitton, I asked if, um, it if it would cost anything to, you know, replace the zipper pull and the zipper head. And she said that they have changed. I know before you could, um, they did it for free. But now if an item is older than one year, you have to pay to get the zipper pull and zipper head um, new. And the cost of that is $80. So I am going to do that later. So it gives like a really good look. And here's the bottom. And this canvas is really you know, more thick and very sturdy. And I really like that. And I also wiped the, the, the canvas down with a baby wipe when I got it. Because you know it is pre-owned. And then I 
put some uh, love in my bags and conditioner on it to give it some shine and some moisture and so I um, take care of the canvas as well so I have it stuffed with some bubble wrap to keep the shape because I had I did re reshape it a bit and the corners and stuff with clamps so it will look better so here's the inside you see it's very clean and you have these three elastic bands right here and you see they're not too stretched out and then you have this um, flat pocket here and usually um, on this there's no date code and I think that's because it was made in the early 80s but usually they go on this side I think so um, the opposite side of the zipper pole were um, um, in the inside pocket so I am going to go away for a night uh, for school um, la next week and I just thought I will show you what I will put in my new toiletry um, I just have some items here as you can see and I'm going to show you what I would put inside of mine so to begin with this is my makeup all my makeup I just put it in this pouch so I get, can get some um, organization in the toiletry but I have like a lip gloss um, lipstick from NYX and it's the color can it's the one I'm wearing right now Mascara from L'Oreal um, Blush from L'Oreal It's the shade uh, W7 to 8 Then I have a concealer and a brush a Bronzing powder I have two BB creams because I mix them to get So it's the medium deep from Garnier and the deep so it, it complements my shade more and then I have a highlighter stick from H&M I actually am wearing it right now I really like it um, and it's not too expensive either um, I think it is ten dollars and I have the color uh, champagne pearl so I think it looks really nice now that I have a highlighter and this is the brush for uh, the bronzing powder um, eyebrow pen eyebrow pen uh, brush blush brush and my BB cream br bl br brush <laughs> you know blush and brush it's so just going to put all the items back and all of that can fit in like your standard uh, uh, makeup bag. And you can just, if it gets bulk, you know, poke around a bit and I will just put it inside like that so you see you still have some room here and then I'm going to put my Dolce Gabbana light blue this is the 100 millimeter size so it's the biggest one and there it is next to it and then I have um, let's see my deodorant um, and then I have some heat protect protection spray in a travel size bottle because this is my the one that I usually use 
and then I have some mint almond oil from the Miel Organic. If you haven't tried these products, please do because they're really good. I really like them. And then, so they go in in the corner there. Let's see, going to move them over. And then I have some hair cream in a travel size bottle. And that is my Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Very great for my natural hair. And then I have some. Uh, it goes that there with the pink. And then I have some coconut oil also for my hair. Um, and it's the this brand. And that goes on top of the pink one. So right there. And then I have some edge control in this tiny uh, travel size bottle um, jar. And it's my cream of nature um, argan oil perfect edges. And that goes right there. Um, and I forgot to show you in this um, flat pocket I have bobby pins, um, q-tips and hair ties. And then I am going to put in, let's see, just going to move some stuff over, uh, my um, Practive. Um, the number one, the Renewing Cleanser, this is what I use for my face. Um, and that goes on top there. And then I also have the Practive uh, Repairing Treatment that I use after. Very great for my face. I, the only, th I don't get a lot of pimples because I had very, I had problems with that when I was younger, but ever since I used have used the practice and I have done it for like 10 years and um, I don't get a lot of pimples just some you know I can get one on my chin or I have a little one there but otherwise th this is I am fortunate to have clear skin um, and then I have my tooth toothbrush and toothpaste in this bag And that will go there. Um, my hairbrush, it's from Sally's. It's like the Denman brush, very great brush. And that one is there. And last, I have a hair bonnet that I use when I go to sleep. And I will put it there so this is actually the first time I am packing this and it all fits I still have some room um, and it's quite heavy now but you can see you can fit and it's not too bulky you can fit a lot of stuff and that um, and that's why I chose the 